the No Fake channel. Checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am going over the top three plate carriers and weighted vests for 2022. With Memorial Day right around the corner, so many of my subscribers have been asking me about which plate carriers and weighted vests are going to be right for them. And that's what today's video is all about, helping you decide which is going to be the right plate carrier or weighted vest for you. Now, this is your first time to the series. Give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button on this home gym series. I just review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide what's going to be right for you, what will exceed your expectations and what is worth your hard earned money. So over the past two years, as you might imagine, the innovations in plate carriers and weighted vests have been almost zero. There haven't been many movement or improvements. It's essentially like trying to build a better mousetrap. The current ones are pretty darn good and get the job done. So let's go over um, some of the differences, some of the similarities and go category by category on which weighted vest is gonna be right for you. The most common type of weighted vest, the one that people are most familiar with are the sand weighted vests. Essentially, it is a vest that have pockets of sand in them and they can range anywhere from 10 pounds up to about 40 pounds. And the reason people like these for the most part is because of the marketing and the price point tends to be fairly low. I always shy people away from these type of vests. Reason being is they never sit very comfortably. As soon as you start moving or sweating, they get loose very quickly and there is a ton of movement with them. Also, they tend to be bulky. They, because of that sand, it adds a lot of thickness. So during exercises or movement, it absolutely can be annoying and ultimately get in your way. So even if you're on a budget, I do tend to shy people away from these sand vests because I think there's better options out there. The majority of plates for your weighted vests are going to come in this form. They're going to be flat, they're going to be thin, they're going to be heavy, and when you load them in your weighted vest in your plate carrier, it essentially pancakes your chest and your back together in order to get a tight fit so that when you're moving, your vest doesn't really move around all that much. Two or three companies actually sell curved plates for your plate carriers. And that allows you to get that nice tight fit without feeling like you have to crush yourself because the, the plates actually sit a bit more ergonomically on your body. And now it's time. It is time for my top three plate carriers and weighted vests of 2022. For many of you, the name in the game that you've heard countless times, you've seen advertisements for, is the TAC-10 511. And that's not on my list, frankly, not because it's a bad plate carrier, but ultimately it's just way more expensive than a lot of the competition. And you are in fact paying for that name, at least in my personal limited opinion. My number one plate carrier for those of you who are on a budget, that sometimes you want a plate carrier, but you know you're not gonna be using it very much. For many of you, it might just be for Murph once a year, and that is to make your own. I've got two videos on how to make your own plate carrier, and it only costs $60. You're not gonna find a sand weighted vest or even a plate carrier for less than $60. And this actually comes with the plates. So you're for $60, you are all in on the vest and the plates, and it absolutely gets the job done. This one has held up for well over a year and I beat the heck out of this thing. I'll put a link in the description on how you can build your own. For those of you looking for the Swiss Army knife of plate carriers, the plate carrier that can get it done in any type of situation, my go-to is the Wolf Tactical Plate Carrier. Now this design, it's not original. Tons and tons of companies have copied this and copied this and there's tons of other ones out there. Why do I go with Wolf Tactical? Number one, they've been around for a while so they're not hard to find and they do have a customer service team. Number two, they're the lowest price for all of the copycats out there. I have checked, I'll put links in the description so you can find the lowest price either on Amazon or on their website. And number three, you can get it in a ton of different colors. So if you want all black, if you want camo, if you want this color, they've got a whole bunch of different options so that yours doesn't look exactly like everyone else's. So why do I say this is the Swiss Army knife of plate carriers? Well, first and foremost, if you want to do functional fitness with it, you can. You simply load the plates up in the bottom. They sit up top on up here, nice and tight, nice and firm. You can get a really good fit on this plate carrier by adjusting the shoulders as well as the cummerbund in the front and the back. It makes it super easy. Now setting it up, 
Takes maybe 20 minutes to get that right fit, but once you have it set up, you're good to go forever. And you can do Murph, you can do shadow boxing, you can run with this thing. You can do it all. You can do Navy SEAL burpees with this thing on, and it's gonna be horrible, but this thing's gonna keep on ticking. As far as the material, it is extremely durable. But the reason this is a Swiss Army knife is it's also for your security. If you run security and you wanna put a ballistics vest in here, you can. If you want to go to the range and you wanna set the whole thing up so that you're at the range and you've got all of your bells and whistles locked into the molly webbing, you can. There's even a little pouch in the front for maps and whatever else you might want to stick in there. Um, and this thing just gets it done. And if you just want something to walk with, say you just want a weighted vest to add some weight when you're walking, this gets it done too. I mean, it certainly is something that is durable and affordable cost-wise. Again, it does come in a lot cheaper to a lot of the other iterations of this vest that look all the same. A quick rule of thumb for saving money when it comes to any type of plate carriers, you want to buy the plates at the same time. Typically companies will give you pretty good discounts when you buy the vest and the plates at the same time. If you buy them separately, you end up paying a good premium to get those plates shipped to you in addition to the vest. For those of you looking for a plate carrier or weighted vest to only use for functional fitness, like running, like Murph, burpees, push-ups with the weighted vest on, and that's it, my go-to is the North Gym weighted vest. Main reason is that the plates are curved, so you do get a more ergonomic fit and feel with this plate carrier. It's going to sit higher up on your chest, but it's gonna give you that nice, comfortable, tight feeling without constricting your breathing. Also, these plates are able to be loaded in from the side, not from the bottom up. It allows you to basically make sure that the Velcro on this thing is never gonna go bad because the Velcro was along the side and a lot of the force, of course, when you have the plate carrier on is going to be straight down on the tightly sewn fabric rather than the Velcro. As far as getting this thing to fit well, it actually has two options on the shoulder pad for those of you who might be thicker, it does allow this thing to open up very well, as well as two options on the cummerbund. It comes with two different sizes of this kind of Velcro cummerbund, allowing you to really get that feel and fit perfectly for your uh, waist section. But how much does it cost? And that's where you get some good and you get some bad on this North Gym weighted vest. So obviously it's gonna be more expensive than the budget vest I showed earlier. It's even more expensive than the Wolf Tactical. However, it does come in under a lot of the other vests that are out there that specifically have curved plates on them. And you can buy this thing on Amazon. I'll put the price point as of today right here. And Clearly, when you buy this vest, you have to buy the plates as well. The plates are specifically designed for this vest. Flat plates won't work well in this vest and vice versa. I know this might be a lot to unwrap with regards to which plate carrier or weighted vest is right for you. My thought is always to write down your high water mark for your budget and write down your ultimate goal for that vest. If you're only gonna be using it once a year on Murph, I think many of you are gonna be just fine and dandy with that budget vest I showed earlier. If you plan to be using it regularly in your home gym, I think that you can get away with the North Gym if your budget allows. And I think for many of you that are looking for something to take to the range, something to go hiking with, some, something to, to go ruck with, and something to just beat the hell out of, Wolf Tactical's gonna be the right one for you and it's gonna be the sweet spot, that Goldilocks region on your budget as well. Now, if you came this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. Tango and cash. Let me know in the comments below if you're doing Murph this year, and frankly, what you plan to be using your weighted vest or plate carrier for. Now, if you came this far in the video, hey, we're best friends, do me a solid. Give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button, and as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.